Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you uh, this little uh, Dremel lathe I picked up. This is Dremel model 700. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I picked this up at a uh, yard sale. Got a good deal on it. And I was looking around, I found some directions online for it, and I figured out how to use it. Yeah, when I first got it, this, this piece here, which is the the point. It was kind of loose on this on this screw, so I put this nut and washer on the back of it, make it tight. I don't know if that, that's how it was supposed to be, but that's how I figured it out. Anyway, you just need a 3 8 wrench for all these adjustments. Comes with a, uh, a what do you call this? A, a guide. It goes like that. And you just tighten that down wherever you need it. I'm going to tighten it down there on this end. The screw on the bottom is slotted, so you don't have to worry about that. <coughs> and you know, don't tighten it too tight because this is only plastic. Okay, and then this side. Now I got a little piece of a uh, half inch dowel that I've been playing around with. I'm going to pop that in there and show you what how to work it. But anyway, with this uh, system, this point here has a, uh, I don't know if you can see that, has like a cross hatch screw on it. So what you do is you uh, find the center. Then if your wood's like soft, like balsa, you could just put put it on there. But if it's not, you cut two slots, so it'll fit in there and it'll spin nice. I figured this out with the instructions yesterday. So now you just line that up, and you put this point in the the hole that's in this side that you found center with. So you just like that. Like that. Now we're going to tighten this up. Make sure it's nice and free. And then we're going to tighten this a hair. And then we tighten this to keep this from moving. Make sure it's still free to spin. It says something about lubing this up with uh, I don't know what it said I thought it said Vaseline or something but anyway just keep this lubed don't make it too tight if, it's, if this is getting hot it's too tight so we'll just turn it on and make sure we're good yeah it looks good it looks good alright then I also got this set of uh, wood turning chisels. You can see it's, it's been in storage for some while in somebody's basement. Anyway, I'm going to uh, give it a little demonstration how this works. I haven't really used it much, I've only messed with it right here. Let's get out one of these uh, chisels. See, now that's a. Uh, pointed chisel and we're going we're to be using it this way so you can see what I'm what's going on maybe I could adjust the camera a little better or zoom in yeah I'll zoom in so you can see what's going on all right here we go Not bad, not bad for a little, uh, I don't know, you can grab these for 40, 50 bucks. See the tools make it, see that nice line I put in there?
There you go. It's pretty easy, huh? It's not too bad for a little uh, $40 machine. I'm, I'm hearing that these uh, guys make pens with these. I guess you do your fancy stuff on the outside first and then you know drill a hole through the center for your pen. I don't know how they do the threads on this or anything like that. If they do threads, I don't know. Anyway, let's try a different uh, chisel. Here we got one like this. I should back up that uh, zoom, huh? This time we'll do it without the zoom. See, this chisel comes like this. And we got one like this, which is like a, a gouge. Okay, now I'm going to uh, continue with what I was doing with the gouge. That's what I call it. So since it's spinning this way, we'll be using it this way. So see, if we hit it, use it this way, it ain't going to cut nothing. If we use it this way, here's the sharp part. And these tools are a little rusty. This is a little rusty. The, the man was down the shore. So. able to round them off a little bit. You can see that. Let's try again. We'll do a separate uh, spot in here. Not bad, huh? Not bad for a little tool like this. I think I'll do a little bit more. Let's try this uh, fancy gouge here. Everything's looking good, nothing's getting hot. Alright, that's pretty fancy. <clears throat> I know it doesn't look good, I'm just practicing. But anyway, they also have an attachment. Since uh, this piece screws off here, you can screw on a faceplate. So you could get a piece of uh, wood and do a bowl type thing. Though, I can't see the bowl being much bigger than, say, inch and a half, two inches tops. Probably inch and a half. And this is a half inch dowel. They say you could do up to, I think, three quarter. So that's pretty good. Anyway. 
Anyway, that's about it. That's all I can think of for now. Anyway, easy cleanup. You just dump it off into the trash. <coughs> Blow it off. <coughs> and you're good to go. You know that? Anyway, that's the Dremel Model 700 lathe. Motor lathe. That they don't sell this anymore. You have to buy it used. And uh, I've seen them on eBay. I've seen them on Amazon. I've seen them on the internet. Anyway. I'm going to have a couple more to do. I have a, a Dremel table saw and a Dremel scroll saw that I got with the same guy. And I'm going to do reviews on each of those. Anyway, I think this one's pretty good. I didn't think it was going to be good, but it's better than I thought. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.